Race number seven is back on the all-weather, the third of the AWT races on Sunday. The Jordan Handicap Class 3 over the 1,200 metres. Willpower, he's back. Karis Teton for Douglas White. Blinkers come off Willpower this week. Lead patch the two. Both wins have been on the all-weather over 1,200 metres. Silver Fig, no trials. He goes up four pounds since his awesome last to first win on the 3rd of May. California Concord was a 2.98 last time and Ryder reported he didn't feel comfortable in his action during that last start run. Six R Suns moved to Ricky Yu. Blinkers tongue tie are off. The cheek pieces go on. Enshrines off his best career Hong Kong performance last time. And Romantic Combo is a trial winner and makes his all-weather debut for Joe Marura and Denny Shum. No chung far for this one, Tom, so straight to the speed, man. Yeah, speed here with the Goffman star who uh, went forwards in a, a recent barrier trial to a lead. He didn't lead first up, so maybe they look to uh, change the tactics here. He, romantic combo hasn't been anywhere near the pace either, so we'll see what he does. He was on speed and also a, a recent barrier trial. California Concord, uh, Zarsen showing some improvement in a trial. I think Enshrine should get a, a similar run to what he got last time out of uh, gate number three. He had gate one last time out. Elite patch willpower and silver fig towards the rear. His willpower, he's going really nicely, this horse. They put the blinkers on him last time and he pulled in the blinkers, so uh, they come off. Um, Douglas White's done all the work on him and you can see the horse going nicely enough. Looked really progressive last season. Uh, did willpower. Elite Patch, now he's tried well recently leading into this uh, event. He's ran second at the back end of last season. When he won last season, uh, Last season, it looked like it could be anything, but he didn't really go on with it. But look, he's had that break and he moves nicely. At Silver Fig, the next one. Now, he's put on 30 pounds in the off-season. Was very impressive, fresh up last season and did win at the back end of the season as well. So did it at both ends. But um, just a little, put on a bit of weight there for him. Will Power is uh, an all-weather specialist, a very promising galloper as well, Tom. This is his trial. He ends up running third in this, but he wasn't knocked around at all. No, he wasn't. Uh, just sat him behind them here and um, came on nicely over the, the final stages. It was a decent trial for me. He was definitely keen with the shades on last time out, and then he certainly looked very flat at the 200 metres. But uh, top of the weights here, 133 pounds, top of class three. I'm happy to take him on here, Paul. No, I like him. I, I, I just think last time those shades didn't work. I think he's got a really good turn of foot. I'm not too worried about the weight. He's a nice, big, strong horse. Elite Patch Paul has come up the early favourite at 2.6. It's on the back of this trial where he runs away and hides. Yeah, that no, was a really nice trial. And look, he, he did show last season he's got plenty of um, ability, has Elite Patch. Um, he just didn't go on with it. That was what, what worried me a little bit. Uh, look, he did run second behind Sonny Boy at the back end of last season. It was a nice enough trial. He's got Zach Purden aboard. I just think he'll be a little bit unders and will power be a bit of value. He ran on strongly at his uh, last start and he won this barrier trial easily. He set up outside to the leader in the, the trial and did it quite nicely over the, the final stages there. He was the one I wanted to side with. He's gone well fresh in the past. He's a horse that doesn't like to get in and amongst uh, around horses, so... Shouldn't be any concerns with gate seven. Zar son Tom had two starts for John Moore. He's a multiple winner in Australia. This horse at Gosford and Rose Hill. This is a good trial on the all-weather. Yeah, I did like the trial from uh, Zar son Didn't quite uh, put him in, but uh, expecting it. A forward effort from him. Blinkers come off, tongue tie comes off as well. Cheek pieces on first time. Definitely improved in this uh, barrier trial and seemed to do it with the ears pricked uh, late. I'll be keen to see how he, he goes because he won this uh, by two lengths and he was only beaten three and a quarter in his first up assignment. So maybe he's improved and now with Ricky Yu. Yeah, Ricky Yu's got the horse going well, hasn't he? So yeah, he's an interesting runner for sure. This horse, Paul, Silver Fig, as awesome as this win was, he's raced May... March and no trials leading into this. Is fitness a concern for you? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, just that he's put on a bit of weight as well. Look, barrier one, I don't think, is going to suit this horse either on the inside. He's another one like Elite Patch who likes to come down the outside late. It was an awesome win from him uh, and he has won fresh before. So he's hard to dismiss, but uh, I've got him in only on a minor line. I didn't quite get him in, just thought uh, without the trial he just may benefit from the run, but he's got a very good fresh record. Three starts for two wins in a second, so uh, that's worth uh, taking into account alone. And in Shrine, Tom, you were pretty keen on the horse this day on the all-weather. He runs second in this race. It was his best, best performance in five in Hong Kong so far. He had a really nice run on the trail, and he's uh, drawn to get a, a similar run here. He had gate one last time out, gate number three. This was in behind Utopia Life. He was only beaten a neck, and he probably was slightly held up. This was the, the point where he was able to uh, squeeze through the gap and uh, get very close to Utopia Life. He probably wanted to get out a bit earlier, but it was a, a decent run from him, I thought. Uh, so he's worth including it. 
uh, 7.8 and he's a dollar a place so all the early money pour from the Marfus has gone on. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, look, I, I, put, I got him in as well. Um, enshrined as well. So, uh, I just think he'll get, he'll be, he's going to be in the right place, as you said. So he's in there on a minor line. But you're with Will Power minus the Blinkers this week, Bob. Yeah, I think the, 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 the Blinkers undid him last time and he looked a really progressive horse last season, including winning most impressive fresh up. I think he can win once again, Will Power. Elite Patch, uh, I think, is the main danger. Zach Purden aboard. But look, he didn't go on from that really impressive win that he had uh, last time. And Shrine will get the best run in Silver Fig late. One, two, seven, three. I went with Elite Patch on top, uh, like the way he ran home last time out, and he seems to have, uh, be, be seems to be fairly forward for this uh, outing with the, the way he trialled the other day. So he's on top to beat seven in Shrine. California Concord, now the rider looked down several times from the about the 500 metres. His action certainly didn't look smooth and it was deemed unacceptable. Prior to that, he hadn't done too much wrong, winning on the all-weather at his first attempt. Neil Callan, Tony Cruz, just the wide draw put me off a little and will power on a minor line. So two, seven, four and one. Race number seven rounds out our all-weather racing at Sha Tin on Sunday.